We're gonna see if this is actually in one piece. Something Jackson, feels broken. Oh my God. Dude, they're both broken. <laughs> Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we decided to finally use PC hardware swap. Did we get a good deal or did we get a big lump of coal? So we paid $620 ship for this PC and the specs for the money is actually a really good deal. But did it actually show up in one piece? I kind of have my doubts right now. Before we dive into opening this thing up, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's ad is brought to you by Accelerate Gaming powered by PNY and their Gaming Rev DDR4 RGB memory that comes in single module and kits up to 32 gigabytes total. It's also built on high quality ICs that allows for easy and stable overclocking and complete RGB control via the most popular software suites out there like Asus Aura Sync and Gigabyte RGB Fusion to name a few. If you're building a new gaming PC or looking to upgrade your current rig, then you should check the link down below to learn more. And special thanks again to Accelerate Gaming powered by PNY for sponsoring today's ad. So we did some negotiating with a few different people on PC Hardware Swap, which basically is kind of like an offer up slash Craigslist type site, but mainly for PCs and PC components. So we were able to get this, what we think is a really nice system for around $620 shipped. And it looks like the guy paid $104 for shipping. So I think we made pretty good in this one, but that's assuming it actually showed up in good shape because I think he tried to save a little bit of money by putting it in the smallest box possible. And there's not very much padding on this thing. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is open this thing up, see if it arrived in one piece and go over the specs of this PC build. I'm using a normal knife. Well, this thing's already damaged enough, it looks like, so I don't want to get out the big Bowie knife and make it worse. It looks like this tape was actually already like, I mean, yeah. So just to give you guys a quick background of like the box here, it's it's pretty bad. And it feels like there's like multiple pieces kind of, which has me a little scared too. So did we get scammed? Matt, yeah. you wanna go ahead and read off the specs? Yeah, so the specs that we're supposed to be getting is an i7-9700 and a 1650 Super, but it has 32 gigs of RAM, which is pretty interesting, and a 240 gig SSD, 650 watt power supply, and a one terabyte hard drive. For $620 in today's market, that's a really good deal. But we're gonna see if this is actually in one piece. Something Jackson, feels broken. Jackson feels like stuff. something is broken. I mean, yeah, this guy did not pad this thing well. So one thing to keep in mind with hardware swap, there's some broken plastic in the bottom here, um, is that there is not really warranties with things. These are, just like, it's just like buying off eBay, but I think probably even a little bit less secure than eBay due to the fact that we just use PayPal, right? Like separately. Yeah, so it's so just it's a, like a Craigslist, really. It is, but it's based <laughs> on Reddit. So it's a Reddit forum that you just go on there and you work with people. You build reputation on the community by buying and selling stuff, but you're really just, betting on PayPal and having buy return through that. So I have no idea what's in there. Maybe he took the graphics card out, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's quite a possibility, but no, there's definitely some broken plastic in there and I felt the bottom, something on the bottom. Maybe like the feet. Oh yeah, I actually see. Are the feet busted? No, that's the front panel, dude. Oh, or the, gla uh, the, the acrylic, it's acrylic. Uh, oh. That kind of looks like a cooler master case, by the way. It looks like a 511 or something like okay. that, maybe. Let's see what's in here. It might be the graphics card, I think it might be. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so he was a little bit smart here, uh, you know, trying to keep the everything cheap, like with a small box, he at least put the graphics card in its own box and it's a little, a little, a little, little wobbly, shaky. but it doesn't seem like anything's broken. This seems correct. So yeah, we got a um, make sure 1650 OC four gigs. So yeah, it's just a normal 1650. Kind of weird actually. It doesn't say super. It. He did advertise it as a no, super. No, I'm dumb. Okay. Six, so it's 650. Uh, 165S, that's what they do. So 1650 okay. Super. I was like, it's weird, a 1650 that needs a uh, six pin. So yeah, we do have a Super there. I'm just being dumb. Um, but yeah, I, something is definitely broke on this. Um, Not sure is, what. Is, this, is this our hook? Something is the, broken on this case. Something is really broken <laughs> on this case. Oh no. They're both broken. Oh no. There's a third hook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing it right now. All right, yeah, um, this, this isn't looking too hot so far. See, we're only excited because, you know, you guys help pay the bills. So. It's content. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's content, but I'm also kind of bummed because I think this is honestly, I mean, the, the case itself isn't looking terrible. I mean, these are like some really cheap panels. That, okay, yeah, the case is actually, so we got like a little dent right here. Oh God, I did not oh, even, okay. Oh, the, yeah, so, so that's, this case is kind of The case done. is toast. Yeah, so um, it's gonna need a new case. <laughs> Oh, okay. so we got we got this method here. All right. Um, it looks like our other panel is like sort of okay. Yep. Nope. And oh boy, what, what is this? Oh my, what just happened? Um, yeah. So that came out. Okay. All right, Matt. Well, what would you like to see first? We got a lot going on <laughs> um, here. Let's just let's just look in the front and see what we got. So we got 240 mil liquid cooler. It's a fractal design liquid cooler. It looks like. 
Yeah, and it's mounted upside down. Um, we got a really good power supply, by the way, which we'll get to in a second, but um, <laughs> yeah, we have a still. huge, huge dent right here. I mean, that's like, you could repair it if you wanted to, but regardless, we don't have, those side panels are- They're done. I and mean, they're pretty much trash. I mean, they're not really worth it from the factory and they're not worth it now. But yeah, we do have a nice fractal design cooler. It appears to be hooked up correctly. Oh, we got to the CV fan header. I normally would have had the tubes going up. Uh, motherboard is marginally screwed in. It looks like it has two screws holding it. We got one here and one here. Uh, we do actually have, so it looks like some crucial um, kind of- Should be, he said 32 gigs. Yep, 16 gig DDR4 2666. Well, you did. So yeah, we do have the promised um, specs so far. Now, one thing that's really cool is the fact that this thing's supposed to have an i7 in it. Yep. Um, once again, a little bit overkill for this build. We have a Gigabyte B360M DS3A chip, relatively budget board. The cooler appears to be mounted pretty well. So, okay. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the front. He left this here so we can plug it in. Everything looks to be plugged in correctly. Um, it's going to go to the back here. So the back, I mean, cable management really didn't need to do a whole lot, but it, what about like, that hard drive? That hard drive looks like it's holding on by a thread. Yeah, hard drive's definitely, I mean, it's, it's wedged in there. Oh yeah, it's just like sideways. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, it's like not in the actual bay. Our SSD appears, well, okay, it's like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Does it just go in like that? I, I, I guess. guess. Oh yeah, oh, okay, yeah. I see it. It's like a clip, it just fell out. So it looks like our A data, it's a 240, 240 gig. 240 gig. Um, seems to be okay. And then do you remember, is this like a one terabyte or a five? Yeah, it's a one terabyte. Okay, but then this is kind of a redeeming factor here. We have a Corsair RM650X. That's actually a pretty decent power supply. Those things go for 60 to 80 bucks usually. So definitely not too bad. But yeah, our, it just sucks that our case is pretty much toast. It's not even sitting, I just realized too. Like look at, show the camera how it's not sitting flat. Yeah. It's like crooked right now. And uh, what case is this? I don't is know. Is this fractal design maybe? Maybe it's very generic. I can't tell. Yeah, there's no logos on it. It makes me think of Cor uh, Cooler Master or like Fractal Design, maybe like an older case. Um, so I guess we should probably see if it works. Yeah. Because so I guess we'll put the. I mean, we don't need to put the graphics. We need to pretend in. to be customers yes. here. Like if we were people, like you know, you guys watching the video, and we had just bought this, you probably wouldn't be very happy. First of all, but it's the whole question of do we still get our money's worth if we have to do a case swap, and as long as everything works, you know, if we get a micro ATX board, so we could do an Apivia Prodigy, Prodigy, which we have in the back. Easy, uh, easy. Tempered glass, some RGB fans. That's about 70 bucks. And at that point, we will have spent around eight, sorry, six, 90 mm -hmm. total. Will that still be worth it? Yeah, so maybe we'll just put the graphics card in real quick, make sure everything actually posts, and then we will go from there. This was actually Zach's uh, kind of like little venture um, here, this is this is why we don't give him the card. You never. He's. I think it's gonna be good content either way. You know? He's he's a loose cannon. We you know. Video from good eBay alternative to awful eBay <laughs> alternative. All right. So. I'm curious if you actually reset it too. That'd be cool to see. Oh yeah, the motherboard's mounted with two screws too. But yeah, look at that. At least we're posting. Let's see what. Uh, hey, does it have Windows on it? Or does it have Windows on it? Like, what are we working with here? It looks like it's reset. Making some weird yep. noises. I wonder. That sounds like the graphics card. Yeah, it's a grab shard fan. Just loud. I think it's just honestly set to like max RPM. So what do you what do you think? Should we fix it first or should we actually try to play games on it? Yeah, I, I, it? I think I think we make it good. Okay. Um, because honestly, I think in its current form, it would work just fine. You don't need to replace the case. Like yes. it'll work, it'll play games, it's just gonna look kind of ugly. So we're basically just going to, you know, put it in a new case, flip the cooler the right way, um, actually mount the motherboard properly, do some cable management, and then you guys will see the before and after. Let's go. We're going into PC Bros, and we're gonna go grab an Apivia Prodigy case. Cause we're trying to save the day, you know? We're trying to save the day. And you could buy an awesome PC with an Apivia Prodigy over at PC Bros, this PC place, Bros. this Dot big, Tech. beautiful place where we have Prodigies by the pallet. <laughs> we, got, we got two pallets of Prodigies. All right, so let's just take our pick here. We're gonna grab a black gun right there, and then we're gonna go build it. Let's go build this one. Let's go do it. But yeah, now that we're in here with our Prodigy and we just took a lap to do that and Jackson's tired and sweaty again, um, we're gonna open up the Prodigy, do a little case swap. So basically almost rebuilding this PC, make it look nice and schnazzy and uh, then we'll test it because we want to make it look good before we test it. Oh my God, that is a work hazard. <laughs> Thank you. 
Everything appears to be good. We got our all of our RGB lights on. We got our 240 being nice and quiet. No weird noises or anything, probably because there's no liquid in it. So <laughs> I think now, oh, we'd also discovered it's a 9700K. This guy had a K processor on a B360M DS3H. Not overclockable. Not very smart, but you know what? It's there, it's it's extra value, I guess. It but is. yeah, what we're gonna go ahead and do is load this thing up with some games and uh, see what it's capable of. So, Woo! All right, guys, now that we have this hardware swap PC all case swapped and actually working properly, let's dive into some benchmarks real quick. Now, we decided to test this PC in a handful of titles, those being Fortnite, Apex Legends, Forza Horizon 5, and Rainbow Six Siege. First up in Fortnite at 1080p on performance mode, we end up getting 200 plus FPS. Any esports title we're going to throw at this thing will have no problem getting 100, maybe even 200 plus FPS like Fortnite here does. The 9700K, while it is a slightly older, Older CPU still has some really good IPC and it's able to stretch its legs in games like Fortnite, giving you a great high refresh rate gaming experience. I really think the configuration of this build's a little bit weird considering it has a 1650 Super, then we have a pretty nice i7 9700K, and then we have 32 gigs of RAM. It really does not need 32 gigs of RAM. 16 would have been more than adequate, and pairing it with a better GPU would probably have been more ideal, as you'll see later on in the benchmarks. But no hate on the 1650 Super. Super, it's still a great card, but it just doesn't seem like a very balanced build overall. Next up in Apex Legends on medium high settings at 1080p, we end up getting an average of 95 FPS. This is where the 1650 Super starts being a little bit of a bottleneck. You're probably going to run games at low if you're wanting to target the 144 FPS mark, but who am I kidding? Nobody at home is really going to copy this configuration. You're really just trying to see well, what kind of deal do we get? I think we got a really good deal because I would probably pair a 9700K all the way up to something like a 30, 60, 30, 70 level card, and you'd probably have no problems whatsoever. It is only an eight core, eight threads, so you're not gonna have the multitasking capabilities of something like a modern Ryzen 7 5800X or 10th gen i7, uh, but you are gonna have enough IPC to play any game you throw at it. Next up in Forza Horizon 5 on medium settings at 1080p, we end up getting an average of 56 FPS. Forza is a very GPU heavy game, and it's really cool to see that the 1650 Super could get an average of 56 FPS, even though it is a more budget friendly card. On AAA titles like Forza, you're probably going to be running low settings if you're wanting to get a locked 60 FPS experience, but it's still cool to see on close to high settings and you can get an almost 60 FPS experience. And lastly, in Rainbow Six Siege on high settings at 1080p using the built-in benchmark, we got an average of 203 FPS. In recap, yes, this PC arrived damaged, but actually everything worked properly other than the case looking absolutely abysmal. Putting it in a proper case and having the proper ventilation and everything working great, the PC is not a bad deal at all. Even with the investment we made, Jackson will break that down at the end of this video, we still came out making a good amount of money and we can actually sell this PC for a decent price over at PCBros.tech if you're so interested in picking up a gaming PC. Um, but overall, hardware swap is good. You just have to be very careful who you actually buy from. Make sure they have high reputation and yeah, just know that there's a chance you might not get a really good PC. Um, it may show up a little bit damaged because they just don't know how to pack it properly so that's something to keep in mind check the link down below if you want to dive into hardware swap and look at some awesome deals but uh yeah that pretty much wraps up the benchmarking section of today's video how to bring jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick all right guys so you probably can imagine this pc did pretty well it's really optimized for esports titles and of course you do have an upgrade path to be able to really really make it play AAA titles but out of the box it will play certain AAA titles just fine so what jackson did over here is we went ahead and tallied up what the price would be if we just went on ebay and went and bought all these parts using average sold prices and we got a really good deal i'll have jackson break down those prices so we paid a total of 620 dollars shipped and everything obviously we did have some minor complications. We basically lost about $70 because we needed to do replace the case. But even when you do that math with the Apivia Prodigy instead, this PC would be about $988 after tax and Windows 10 installation. And this wasn't like insane prices, by the way, like Windows 10 Pro is $15. Really the most kind of insane thing about this was the i7-9700K does go for around 220 to 260 on eBay. We kind of went with the low prices even, so I did 224 and we still got $988. 
dollars for us to build it ourselves. Of course, you might not go with this configuration. If you are building a PC from scratch on eBay, you probably get something new like a Ryzen CPU or something like that that would perform better around the same price. So do take those numbers with a grain of salt. But in terms of the value going on the used market, I think we got a pretty good deal. Just be very careful when you're buying from people on hardware swap because it is just an open community of a trusted system where you're just kind of like, yeah, I'm gonna trust that guy that he's gonna ship the PC properly to me. And sometimes it doesn't work out. But if you wanna check out hardware swap, I'll leave a link down below so you can browse some of the awesome deals that they have. It was a cool experience to see that we could get a full PC at a really good price from that subreddit. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So this PC may have not shown up in uh, very good shape because it wasn't shipped very well, but hey, I will tell you where you can get a PC that's double packaged and will have bubble wrap on the inside. PCBros.tech is our PC selling business. We sell a lot of high-end gaming PCs, budget PCs, laptops, and things like that. Check out our website and use code... Uh, check out our website and use code TOZYBROS2 on checkout to save 2% on your checkout. Yeah, I'm just gonna run with that one. <laughs> see you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.